Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. So I wanted to share with you a scripture that the Holy Spirit put upon my heart. Um, I was just walking around this track and listening to praise and worship music and praying. And I was asking the Holy Spirit to give me some scripture, specific scripture to read. And I heard in my spirit, Mark chapter 13, verse 4. And I also want to say that this is also uh, written in uh, Matthew 24, verse 3, starting at verse 3. So it says here, the signs of the times and the end of the age. Now, none of us know the day nor hour, but I just felt that the Lord led me to specifically read this. So um, I'll start at verse 3. Now, as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when all these things will be fulfilled? You see here Matthew 24, verse 3. And Jesus answered him, them, and said, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And will deceive many. But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled. For such things must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows. But watch out for yourselves, for they will deliver you up to the councils and you will be beaten in the synagogues. You will be brought before rulers and kings for my sake, for the testimony to them. And the gospel must first be preached to all nations. But when they arrest you and deliver you up, do not worry beforehand or premeditate what you will speak. But whatever is given you in that hour, speak that. For it is not you who speak, but the Holy Spirit. Now, brother will betray brother to death, and father his child, and children will rise up against parents and cause them to be put to death. And you will be hated by all for my name's sake. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And you can see the um, scripture references here also. Uh, Matthew 10, 17 to 18, 24, verse 9, and Revelation 2, verse 10. And it goes on to talk about the Great Tribulation. But I just wanted to share that with you, um, that he put that on my heart. And it's very important to for us to quiet our minds and hear the Lord's voice. We have to shut out the world and listen for that internal voice of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you this evening and um, I was also looking up I'm in my car I was also looking up um, and it kind of changed shape but this earlier cloud looked like the shape of a heart so God bless you all and I'll end the video with a beautiful palm cross that this homeless man made i had given him food and some drink um, he was disabled um, we were leaving vacation and i said to my children i want to bless somebody i want to bless somebody with this food and uh, i met him and he was a blessing so i just wanted to share this beautiful um, very ornate rose um, and cross that he made with his hands god bless you all